Welcome to the Lynx training video series. Today, we will explore how to add and view historical vaccines. There are two instances when vaccines should be entered as historical. One, a provider purchases their own vaccines and maintains private inventory. These providers can utilize Lynx to track administered vaccines without entering any inventory. Two, a certified paper immunization record is entered into Lynx. Because these vaccines were previously administered, they can be entered as historical. Only verified records should be entered into Lynx. Never enter vaccine information obtained from a patient's memory. Log into Lynx using your username and password. If your organization supports multiple facilities, you must first select the appropriate facility to begin. Do this by clicking Select Facility under the main menu item on the left navigation bar. You will then be directed to the patient search page. Search for the patient by entering in the SIS patient ID and clicking the search button. If you do not have the patient SIS ID, search for the patient by entering the first initial of the patient's first name and the patient's date of birth. Click on the search button. Select the correct patient from the search results at the bottom of the screen. This will allow you to view the patient's information. Verify that the patient is marked active before proceeding. If the patient is listed as inactive, click the Edit button and select the correct status from the drop-down menu. Confirm and save. Click the Vaccinations menu item in the left navigation bar. Select the View Add menu item. The immunization record information from the previously selected patient will now display. The vaccination forecast section displays vaccines that have not yet been recorded for the patient. To enter data for an historical vaccine, click on the empty text box next to the appropriate vaccine type. Enter the date the vaccine was administered. Multiple dates for multiple vaccines can be entered simultaneously. If the vaccine type for the historical date you are entering is not displayed in the list of vaccines, choose the drop-down list at the bottom of the vaccine list to view more options. Once all data is entered, click the Add Historicals button on the bottom right of the screen. The historical vaccines have now been added into the system and will be denoted with a red asterisk on the patient record. To view historical vaccine data, first ensure a facility and patient have already been selected. Expand the vaccinations menu item on the left navigation bar and select View Add. Select the date of the vaccine you would like to view. This will open the vaccination medicine detail page. If this vaccine was entered as an historical item, the historical field will be labeled as yes. If needed, you can click the Edit Record button or the Add Edit Adverse Reactions button to add additional details. Click Cancel to return to the Vaccination View Add screen. This concludes the historical vaccine video.